Welcome back. Let's now bring you the latest on the Israel-Hamas war. Amid the ongoing war, all eyes are now on the four-day truce and hostage prisoner swap. Israel and Hamas have, of course, agreed on Wednesday to a ceasefire, which they, of course, are calling an operational pause in Gaza. This in exchange for 50 hostages that have been held by Hamas and 150 Palestinian prisoners held by Israel. Israel's security agency Mossad has now received the list of hostages who are expected to be released by Hamas. Qatar was instrumental in brokering this deal, as was the United States. And with that, we have some breaking inputs now coming in. We are learning that the IDF has posted new videos where they're stating that they have completed preparations to receive the released hostages upon their return to Israel from Gaza in coordination with government ministries and security authorities. The IDF is stating that they have prepared to quickly receive the released hostages and give them all the necessary support. IDF also goes on to say that they have readied several locations dedicated to their initial reception, which include the necessary medical provisions. And after the initial reception and medical treatment, they will continue to hospitals where they will be reunited with their families. And remember, there was a lot of difference of opinion between Hamas and Israel when it was about releasing these hostages and where they would be taken. Red Cross was not getting access and that was a crucial bone of contention. Let's try and get more details out of our international news correspondent Abhishek Jha who's joining me on the phone line. Abhishek, it seems that there's finally some kind of agreement because remember, there's already been a day's delay as far as this truce is concerned. Uh, well, uh, uh, Akansha, clearly this is a much-awaited respite for many families whose uh, members have been kidnapped by uh, the, the Hamas and they were taken to Gaza. And after weeks of negotiations, now it looks very uh, certain that many of them are coming back to their homes and the Israeli Defense Forces are preparing several locations where uh, these people will be received. Uh, maybe many of them will need initial medical aid and help also, so they have prepared uh, uh, you know, stuff like clothing, um, stuff for personal hygiene. Uh, there are uh, toys for kids who have been uh, kept there uh, and will be given to them. So a lot of preparation uh, and uh, excitement is on the Israeli side to welcome about 40 to 50 people who are being released uh, from the Hamas side to the Israeli territory. Thanks to you, Abhishek Jha, for bringing in all those latest inputs. And remember, the truce or the operational pause, as the IDF has been calling it, was set to take place uh, at around 10 a.m. local time on Thursday. But it got delayed because the nitty-gritties and the framework of this entire truce were being worked upon. And now Israel has confirmed uh, that the release of these uh, hostages will be taking place on Friday, that is today. Have a look at this CNN review.